Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get to round 100 on D-Machine efficiently. thought I'd make this guide for you guys because when I was trying to do my round 100 run, I could not find any guides, and I had to create this strat myself. Now, I know that there's a lot of strategies that are very similar to this, um, like the launch strategies and stuff, but the only guides I could find were for a pre-patch ray gun, or they were like completely different. But this, I found this way, and I mean, I'm sure there's people that have done before, or possibly even made guides that I could not find on it but it is extremely fast and efficient and uh i mean it's like a two and a half hour to three hour around 100 so uh yeah pretty fast so there's a couple things that you're gonna have to do here before you even load up the game and um so what those things are is you're going to need to make sure that you have a projectile weapon so any weapon it doesn't matter which one that shoots a projectile any way that you can damage zombies from a different distance um so personally i use the 1911 just because of the uh the pure aesthetic of it it doesn't like i said it doesn't matter which weapon you use just as long as it can damage um zombies um from the distance because i got i got some nice blueprints for it look pretty funny um and uh so yeah that that any weapon you want and then you're also going to need a tier 5 uh, ring of fire. And what that's going to help you do is it's going to slow down the zombies, it's going to damage the zombies, it's going to uh, let you do a lot more damage to the zombies, and it's going to take your ammo when you shoot your weapon, the ammo that is going to be used is not from your mag, a zine, or whatever kind of ammo type it is, but it'll come from your stock ammunition. So it is very useful, and it basically carries you all the way through this high round. It would probably not be possible without it. What you are going to need for this strat is, like I said, the ring of fire and your bullet weapon, but you're also going to need to pick up uh, the die, the decompressive hypostopic constraint machi machine, and you are also going to need the ray gun. Um, so you're gonna, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go through, get them. I mean, you can you can do the cough Nancy Strig, uh, you can do uh, you can do the D free, D machine uh, free uh, wonder weapon quest and you can also wait till round 33 so if you progress past round 32 then basically <laughs> your odds for getting the ray gun just go so high that you could probably get it in one box cycle so that's what i suggest you do you go you progress through the rounds you get your your die you camp at the top and i'll tell you the strategy in just a minute here and then once you hit round 33 you save a zombie at the end of that round and then you go hit for the ray gun and you triple pack it the other thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get shatter blast on your uh bullet projectile weapon of choice I'm sure you guys already know about this strat because it is very popular, but basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the top of Nocturne Toten, not open the door behind you. So it's the penthouse, it's the very top, it's just kind of chilling back there, you can see it in the gameplay footage, and basically you're just not going to want to explode the debris behind you. So here is what you're going to do. Oh, by the way, uh, before I forget, you also are going to want to use uh, Semtex or Molotovs, just a lethal grenade or equipment that you can use to kill zombies that will either stick to them or stay in one place, etc., etc. And then Casimirs are also nice to um, have in your back pocket in case of a sticky situation, which there are a lot because the Megatons are very unpredictable and sometimes you won't be able to kill them before they're up on you so also having a chopper gun is useful so basically if you can't kill the megatons before they're up on you and they're going to kill you you're going to want to have the casimirs and the chopper gunner in your back pocket so you have options to get out of a pinch now for the real high round strat this is what you want to do at the beginning of the round you use your shadow blast 1911 to aim at this spot I'm aiming at right now, right where the zombies drop up. As soon as they start spawning, shoot them. Then turn and throw a Semtex in the spot that's right next to you. Um, the spawner right next to you. And then throw another Semtex at the zombies that are climbing up. This should charge a ring all the way. If it doesn't, just shoot a couple die shots into where the horde comes and get that charged up. Then what you're going to want to do is pop it. And if your die is, is not full ammo, suck up some zombies and then switch to your ray gun. And just shoot this spot with your ray gun, as you can see, as what I'm doing right now. I'm just shooting this one spot with my ray gun. And I'm just going to do this until my ring of fire runs out. After it does, 
take your die out and just start spamming this spot that I'm spamming until you get your ring of fire back. Then suck up zombies until you have full ammunition in your die, and then switch back to your ray gun. Now, if a megaton spawns in, the, there's not really a strat I really have like set in stone for killing the megaton. Basically, if I see him, I'll just try to, you know, diverse diverse where I'm shooting. Like, so I'll shoot like a little bit where the zombies are, and if I have the opening, I'll shoot the megaton in the face, and I'll try to get him split, and then. Kind of, just because you're applying a lot of damage to one spot, whether you're sucking the die, shooting with it, or you're shooting a ray gun, a lot of times you'll kill him before he'll be able to get too close to you. But that's not always the case. So if he does get up on you and you don't think that you're going to be able to kill him and efficiently keep the zombies back, then throw a Casimir, run past him, pop your chopper gun, or do whatever you need to do, and... Um, Basically, uh, do whatever you need to to try to kill him. Use all your resources because he is a very powerful enemy and has killed me many, many times on high rounds. Now, if you're low on armor, it is a good idea to make an armor run. So basically, just like, if you want to, if you want to be safe, throw a Casimir. If you're starting the round, just basically just run down to the armor station, grab your armor, and then just teleport back up to the top of Noct and then run back up to the spot. It's not hard to make an armor run. If you need craftables, if you need to craft another Tropical Gunner, or another Casimir, or another Self Revive, if you go down, you can just, you know, use your Casimirs. Just basically, those Casimirs, those are what you're going to want to hold on as long as you possibly can, and only use them if you have to. If you have Mule Kit upgraded, then there is a chance to, if you throw them, it won't actually use it, so that's very nice. And also, when you craft them, it'll give you two instead of just one. So that is, uh, that is also very nice. So yeah, that's the guide. I hope you enjoyed, and I hoped I helped you out getting to this, uh, this round 100. It, it definitely, uh, definitely was a struggle for me, but I got it, and once you get this strat down, it is very easy.